whenever we are working in asp.net core application then there are couple of scenarios where we need the id of the logged in user into our controller classes or the services in this video we will understand how to create the common code to handle the user id in asp.net core application and we can use the common code in services or controller or anywhere in this application let's see how to do that let's open the visual studio to create the common code for the handling of user id we can create one more service into this application just like we have created some repositories into this application in the same manner we can add some services how to do that so we can simply create one more folder in this application with the name services and then inside this service folder let's add a new class let's give it a name so here i can write the user service we can create few methods in this user service class let's create a new method public string get user id let's return null as of now okay to work with the id we need the http context either you can use the http context directly into your controller class or since we are working with the common code so we can use the http context over here let's see how to use the http context in this class so for that we need to use the constructor and we can inject the services for the http context how to do that we can use i http context accessor let's give it a name context http context and now we need to generate a field over here so here you can notice that we are using this dot http context and we are assigning this value to this variable so there are two ways either you can use the same approach and since we are using the underscore approach in our application so instead of using this this keyword we can use the underscore over here and let's update this code also just like this and now we can get the user id from this http context let's see how to do that http context dot http context this is the name of our field but the actual details are available inside this http context then press dot and we need to use the user inside this user we need to get the details from our claims so now the chances are that user might not be logged in into this application and in some scenarios this user will be null to handle the null value we can use the question mark and here we can use the find first value method this is available inside this system.security.claims namespace and inside this method we can pass the key for the claims so here i can write claims type dot name identifier and that's it now i can use this method anywhere in this application to get the id of the logged in user okay since we are working with the dependency injection so i can create a new interface for this particular user service let's right click on this one and choose quick actions extract interface click on the ok button and here you can notice that we have the user service interface here is the interface and this is the method now we need to register this service into our application let's go to the startup class okay again over here let's use the same approach services dot add scoped and then here i can write i user service and we can resolve it by using user service let's resolve the namespace now let's go back to any controller suppose i'm here in this home controller and suppose over here in this index method i want to get the logged in user id how to do that so here let's use a variable like where and here we can write user id to work with the service we need to inject that service into this constructor let's do that so here i can write i user service let's generate a field quickly by pressing control period dot get user id 
that's it now we can use the same code anywhere in this application to get the user id okay let's put a breakpoint over here and run this application in debug mode here we have the breakpoint and let's see what we have in this user id here we have the id of the logged in user let's click on the continue button so this is how you can create a common code to handle the user id in your entire application you can use the same code in any of the repository any of the service or anywhere in this entire application okay now there is one more important thing in this application suppose i need to check whether a user is logged in or not into this application then how to do that we can use the same approach to validate whether a user is logged in or not into this application so again let's go to this user service and here let's create one more method public so this time we can return a boolean type and the name is is authenticated you can give any meaningful name to this method and from here you can return some details the details are available again in this http context http context dot http context then similarly the user you can also use this code directly into your controller class so http context will also be available over there you can inject this service into the controller constructor and you can use the same code over there but the drawback is that suppose you want to use this code at multiple places then you have to write the same thing again and again and this is not a good idea you can simply use this user service and by using this method you can check whether a user is logged in or not let's see how can we check this method before that let's add this method to the interface let's copy it go to the i user service save the changes go back to the controller class and over here we can check where is logged in and we can simply use this same user service dot and we can use this method let's again run this application in the debug mode here we go to the debugger this is the user id and here you can notice that this value is true it means user is logged in into the application let's click on the continue button okay so since user is already logged in that is why we are having the id and the true value for the is authenticated let's log out this user this time you can see that in the user id we have null and in the is logged in flag we have the false value let's click on the continue button and this is how it is working that is all in this video make sure to hit the like button comment share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching have a great day